the topic is an electric dipole an electric dipole is formed when two point charges of equal magnitude but opposite sign are separated by a small distance means an ele electric dipole is what electric dipole is formed by two point charges having opposite charge opposite sign means we take a two charge minus q n plus q the magnitude of these two charges same that is q and they are separated by a small distance d then this forms an electric dipole means it has two poles positive pole and negative pole and form an electric dipole so here the minus q is placed on left side and plus q is placed on right side because as we take a mid point as origin then to left side of the origin is taken as negative and right side of the origin is taken as positive so similarly in this case v place minus q on left side and plus q is towards right side and the distance between these two charges opposite opposite charges is very small d small d is the distance and that is very small so this forms an electric dipole now we have to determine the electric potential due to this electric dipole for this we place this electric dipole on the z axis so from this figure we place this electric dipole on the z axis similarly the plus q charge is placed on positive z direction and minus q charge is placed on negative z direction and the distance between these two charges is small d so the electric dipole is placed on the z axis and the midpoint of this dipole is at the origin now our task is to determine the electric potential at some point p so here we consider a spherical coordinate system because the electric dipole is spherically symmetric okay so according the point p has coordinate r theta and phi plus q charge is at point a which has coordinate 0 0 plus d by 2 and minus q is at point b having coordinate 0 0 minus d by 2 now as we know as we know that the potential at any point p is given by equation 1 that is q upon 4 pi epsilon not within bracket 1 upon r1 minus 1 upon r2 where r1 is the distance of plus q charge with respect to point p and r2 is the distance of minus q charge with respect to point p so the potential at point p is due to the combination effect of charge plus q and minus q so here v1 is equals to q upon 4 pi epsilon not r1 and v2 equals to minus q upon 4 pi epsilon not r2 when we add these two potential v1 and v2 we get a total potential v so the potential at point p is given by equation 1 now we assume that this point is on the xy plane that is z equals to 0 plane so on this plane on this plane the r1 and r2 is equal 
the distance r1 and r2 is equal. So, after putting this in equation 1, we get potential 0. This means the entire z equals to 0 plane or xy plane behave similar to points at infinity as all are at 0 potential. Since we know that at infinity the potential is 0 and here when we place a point P on xy plane the potential is 0. So we consider this plane as infinity. Now we assume that this point P is very far away from the electric dipole means the distance R1 and R2 is very large and from the figure r small r is the distance of this point with respect to origin now since point p is very far from the dipole then these distance li line that is r1 r2 and r may assume to be parallel with each other this is due to this is due to assumption that point P is very far from the electric dipole. So, these R1, R2 and R makes an angle theta with respect to Z axis because they all are parallel to each other. Now, we pro we make a perpendicular AM. Now, from figure, the BM, BM in terms of theta is equals to AB cos theta. And here AB is distance small d. So, it is BM is equals to d cos theta. And also, the B P that is from B to point P. B P is equals to B M plus P M or P M plus B M. Also due to this perpendicular P A is equals to P M. And if we know that P A is equals to R1 and P B equals to R2. So this BM is equals to PB minus PM that is R2 minus R1. So from these equations R2 minus R1 is equals to D cos theta. Now since D the distance between of the electric dipole is very small. So, we can say that R1 is approximately equals to R2 is approximately equals to R. Means R1 and R2 and R3 are approximately equal. Means this BM is approximately very small because of this small d. Hence, we can write R1 into R2 equals to R square. So, from equation 1, after putting R1, R2 equals to R square, we get equation 2. That is, V equals to Q upon 4 pi epsilon naught within bracket D cos theta upon R square. Now, this is the potential at point P due to the electric dipole. Now, we can also determine the electric field intensity or electric field due to this electric dipole. For this, we can take the gradient of this potential. So, E electric field is equals to minus gradient of potential V. So, similarly, as we know that we consider a spherical coordinate system. So, here we put the formula of gradient of V that is gradient of a scalar 
in spherical coordinate system. So this is a gradient of V with minus sign. Now we know that this potential having only R and theta variables. There is no phi variables. So this phi term that is with respect to phi is 0. Here is cancelled. So we have only two terms with respect to R and with respect to theta. After solving this partial differentiation with respect to R and with respect to theta and taking a common term, we get the electric field at point P due to an electric dipole. And here the common term is Q D upon 4 pi epsilon naught R cube within bracket 2 cos theta unit vector r plus sin theta unit vector theta. Now here the numerator term that is q into d is nothing but a dipole moment. So an electric dipole has an dipole moment that is equals to product of the magnitude of any charge into distance between them. So this is a concept of electric dipole and due to this electric dipole we can determine the potential and electric field.